The Lou's death certainly impacting many people in the district as well as former members of the FM district. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith talks with a recent FM grad who had her own struggles with mental health while she was a student. On the outside, Emily Shearoff seemed like your typical student at Fayetteville Manlius High School, excelling academically and in her extracurricular activities. But little did everyone know, she felt broken on the inside. I think my time at FM was really defined by a lot of academic pressure. Um, I put a lot of it on myself, but there definitely was a lot of it in the school as well, and that certainly didn't help the mental health issues that I already had. Emily attempted suicide when she was 15 years old. So the recent death of sophomore Jay Lou is a tough reminder of her student experience at FM. I didn't want to put my problems on anybody else, and so I just kept them all to myself, and it eventually weighed me down to the point where I did end up having those thoughts and unfortunately acted upon them. Superintendent of FM schools, Dr. Craig Tice, believes there's been progress with mental health services and students do have options like school counselors, psychologists, and family school liaisons in each building. With our trained professionals, uh, I think and we provide uh, strong uh, services for the students, their individuals that the students know. But some in the FM community, including Emily, are asking why the district didn't accept all of Onondaga County's offer in providing more mental health services for free. Dr. Tice says the reason is because some of what the county offered, the district already had in place with an off-site mental health counselor in Fayetteville. So I think there's something to be said for what the county offered, but because we were partnering with Dr. Carmen, who was right in town here, we were already saving our families that travel time. I'm glad he accepted part of it, but he should have accepted the whole thing. There's really not an excuse for not accepting all of it. Hoping the district and community can work together to help every student. In Fayetteville, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And the district does hope to offer telemental health services for students in the future. No concrete plans have been established yet. In the wake of Lou's death, the superintendent says counselors are available all week. If you or anyone you know is in need of support, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It's 800-273-8255.